Gott, Halleluja. This one prayer I want you to pray. If you can pray it like fire and like thunder, you will be pleasantly amazed at what the Lord will do in your life. Although the year is running to an end, miracle can still happen. Therefore, with a voice as loud as fire and thunder, don't allow anybody's voice to overshadow yours. Because immediately this prayer starts. The angels that are already gathered around here will move into the midst and they begin to break the yoke of satanic delay. Not only that one, they will begin to disgrace every inherited battle. Not only that one, they begin to cancel words that are warring against your life. Not only that, a divine surgery will begin to take place. So, oh God, Allah, and set you me by fire. You want divine settlement, a divine compensation. Can I hear the sisters here shouting this prayer? Is that the best the sisters can do? My support here, Let me hear the brothers shouting it. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Let there be divine settlement. Thank you, Jesus. Back up ten dara boko shen dera basanta. Ribo sopola kaya boko shen tera bakatan dara basanda. Aha! Aha! Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray let that be silence beloved I told you to pray that prayer well that it will bring results results are rushing here now there is a sister over there many years ago a so called prophet laid hands on your head thereby using satanic method to take away your virtues something is going to happen to you right there where you are standing and your virtues that have been stolen shall come back There are some people here, they are suffering from the arrows of satanic in-laws. Satanic in-laws are firing arrows at you. Something will happen within the next few minutes. The arrows will begin to go back to the senders. Within the next few minutes too, the padlock of darkness that has been used to padlock so many good things shall be broken to pieces. When the power of God begins to move, upon those people here. There are some here today, you have started your own fasting since Monday. Power of God will touch you where you are. And the yoke challenging your life shall be broken. Father, all these people that has been mentioned, wherever they are in this auditorium, let your power begin to touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. In the name of Jesus. It's happening. I told you. Let her go. Let her go. Release her right leg. Release her right leg. Let her go. That's the power of God coming upon you. Thou wind and the power of the Holy Ghost. Blow on all who are here, who are presently suffering from stagnancy, who are suffering from unexplainable failures, who are suffering from the enemy harassing their destiny and their business. Let the wind of fire blow upon such people now and cause instant deliverance to happen. Yes, that is the wind of the Holy Ghost. The wind is blowing, blowing, blowing. 
Blind, blind, blind. Ah. Yes. Yes, today is today. They have harassed you for too long. That has it win again. Blow up on that person over there. Silence. Who is that woman here? Your child is old enough to talk. The child is not talking. Just stretch your right hand towards me at the altar here. And the power of God will fall upon that hand. When you get home from this meeting, go and lay that hand upon the child. And the child will begin to talk. Thank you, Jesus. There are a group of people here that I want to pray for now. They have no helper, no money, no friends. I want to pray for them. There's another group of people here. They need accelerated promotion. There's some people here too. They have stubborn court cases that need to be resolved. There's some people here too. Clinical prophecies have been given to you. And you are suffering under the canopy of that clinical prophecy. There's some people here too. They've been losing good things. Losing good things. I want to pray for such people. Father, all these people that have been mentioned here, right there where they are standing, whoever they are, receive your breakthrough now. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, continuously lay your hands upon us. And open our understanding. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. God bless you. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5. I read from verse 25. Jeremiah 5. 25 and we're speaking and concentrating the rest of our prayer at this special meeting on what I call the cage of the black man the cage of the black man Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 25 your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins are withholding good things from you. If you are following me, say yes. Sir. Have you found the scripture? Verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so their house is full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and waxing rich. How did they become great? How did they wax rich? They catch men and cage men. Therefore, gathering their virtues and using up their virtues. The black man has trouble. It is a lamentable tragedy. It is in a place like Africa here, you find some head of state feeding their own people to lions. It is a lamentable tragedy that the way Africa itself is being run, it's like the whole continent is under a curse. And you practically find all through Africa Failure to find even good leaders. And there are trouble, malnutrition, problems all over the place. But the wickedness we use on each other is a bit strange. A lot of black people who will have risen up have been destroyed even by the witchcraft powers of their own household. Very strange and very sad. Very strange, very sad. 
Imagine a lady getting married on a wedding day as they usher them out of church and as she was about to enter into the car, all of a sudden she ran mad and began to tear off her wedding gown. The pastors there, because they didn't know what to do, they were struggling, struggling with her. They could not overpower her. She tore those clothes until she was naked. So the best they could do is to put her in the car, run her to the psychiatric hospital. From the place of wedding to the psychiatric hospital, only for the third wife of her father to be saying, she has not seen anything yet. This is madness. And she was saying it openly. For among my people are the wicked. They lay wait. They set snare. They set trap. Not to catch birds. Not to catch rats. But to catch men. I'm praying for somebody here. If you have entered any trap. Consciously or unconsciously. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Get out now. Let your amen be loud as thunder. Get us now. In the name of Jesus. For among my people, he says, I found the wicked. It was here many years ago. A girl was in this campus, University of Lagos, studying mathematics. All of a sudden, inside the class, she got blind. And she was the top of the class. The mother took her all over the place. All over the place. All over the place. But this mountain, that mountain, this place, that place, that place. That's it. Somebody said, come here. She saw this place. She didn't come here. Drove past before she came. Immediately she arrived. The Lord said, son, you are looking at the strong man who is the enemy. I said, okay. I was much more rascally at that time. I said, okay, mama, enter into that room. Daughter, follow your mother. We lock them up. Start praying. Pray like fire. I fire back. Every arrow of blindness. I fire back. Every arrow of blindness. Both of them were praying. After 10 minutes, we didn't hear the voice of mommy again. It was only the voice of the daughter. By the time we opened the door, daughter could now see. Mommy could no longer see was a strange situation. It was the mother that dragged her by hand here. By the time they were leaving, it was the daughter that dragged her by hand. Among my people, I found the wicked. I'm praying for somebody here. Every wicked power of your household, assigned to trouble your destiny, assigned to frustrate your destiny, assigned to cage your assignments, I bury them now. That your amen is not loud enough. I bury them now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Sit down. Sit down. I've seen so many things in my life. If I begin to tell you, you may not even believe me. You may think, what? This man is telling stories. He's telling stories. Wickedness. Wickedness that men do. Many of the businesses that are running down, they don't ordinarily run down. It's some powers that are running them down. Some of the families that are breaking up, they're not just breaking up. Powers are breaking them up. A lot of black people, unfortunately, seem to have black inside. Here, it is among the blacks. You find plenty of the spirit of the crab. Crab. If you put crabs in a bucket, instead of them to start jumping out of the bucket one by one, as one crab is going up, another crab is pulling the crab down. Wickedness of the black man. It's amongst the black people who will promote the inferior, then they demote the superior. It's here, we see it. It's here, you see, the the one who will promote the family, the one who will make the family great, dies at the flower of his age. Then the one that will be drinking the blood of everybody will be getting older and older and fatter and fatter and neater and neater. As I'm talking to you today, I can see visualizing my eyes the boy called Irawo. Irawo was in our primary school. 
Irawo means star. The day Irawo was born, native doctors from three villages, they met themselves at the maternity place to give one message that this child will change the life of our people. This child shall bring glory to our geographical zone. Even the devil people knew that it was a great child. And the parents put him in a mission school. St. John Primary School. St. John Christ Apostolic Church Primary School. They tried. They put him in a mission school. At the back of our school, there is a place they tell us not to go. It's quicksand. That kind of sand that if you get there, you just sink. And nobody goes there to play. Irawo was so intelligent that if you, say, if you give him mathematics and say do five out of eight, he will do the five. Then the three that are left, he will do it in the margin. So you know that he knows everything. He just desire to pick five. Intelligent brain. Only God knew what happened. Irawo left the school jump over the fence went to the quicksand and we could swim going down going down the era was disappeared nobody could go and fetch his corpse because if you go there you will sink too so nobody could fetch era of a burial that was how era died in the quicksand on the school day that was the end of the story raise up your right and say this with holy anger To bury my star, you are a liar. Dead. In the name of Jesus, somebody is not playing now. But setekati lakayaba. Jesus name we pray Sit down beloved For among my people I found wicked men They lay await They set snares They set a trap They catch men They catch men A boy was brought here By the parents Comes from a rich home somewhere in Via He slept with Their housemaid That's all he did then they found that he started behaving strangely. He will wear two underwears. He locks up the bedroom when he's bathing. If he's naked, if somebody is coming, he'll quickly close the door. Even when his own father is coming, he closes the door. So, what's wrong with this boy? Until one day, he himself could not bear it. He told the parents, please take me to the mountain of fire. They brought him here. What was the problem? Since he slept with this house help, his manhood became two. The original one was there. There was one growing by the side again like this. That's how they brought him in. Wickedness of men. It is here in Africa. Find plenty of what to call breadwinner's cemetery. Breadwinner's cemetery. It is here in Africa. Find a high level of young widows. Young widows, they said 32, where is husband dead? 25, dead. Most of them did not die, they were killed. He said in Africa, find plenty of firstborn who are not finding their feet at all. It's like they are insane or stupid on the streets. He said in Africa, somebody who cannot even feed one family properly is marrying plenty wives. We have a pastor in this ministry. The, the father had 21 wives, only 21. Our pastor was number 68 amongst the children. But of all those over 100 children, our pastor was the first person to enter into a university. And for eight years, couldn't get a first degree. A degree that takes three years. Eight years he was there. But they would have chased him out. If not that, at the eighth year, he started coming here. And he started deliverance was then he could pass he would sit for exam they won't find his papers 
lecturers cannot locate his paper. They will say, say he didn't say, take the exam. The lecturers, so one lecturer said, but I collected it from you, but it has disappeared. I am praying for somebody here. Any power that does not want you to enjoy your destiny, they shall be destabilized and disgraced. In the name of Jesus. For among my people, I found wicked, wicked men. All kinds of wickedness. It's in Africa here. Find senseless civil wars. Senseless. They just be killing people. Anyhow, killing people. Or senseless ethnic battles. One day I ran into such an ethnic battle. I was on my way for a crusade in Calabar. And our car ran into them. I noticed that all cars were running away back. Away. They, were go- they were running away from Calabar. But I asked my own driver to keep going because we had a crusade. I said, keep going. When we got to the place where they were fighting, the community fighting, I shook my head. I said, this is, this is, this is unfortunate. That this is a shame to all people who call themselves general overseers. That in the country where we claim we have great men of God, great men of God, there are see people like this fighting on the streets. Some of them were putting live goat on their neck. Some was hanging cock on their neck. All kinds of dangerous weapons. Young, young men who should be pursuing their destinies. They have been caged by the African demon. I want you to understand this word. Plenty of people come to Mountain of Fire, they don't understand what we are doing. They don't understand our prayer. They don't understand our aggression. Things are not clear. They say, why are they praying, die, 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 die. Praying, die, die. They don't, they don't understand. And it's not their fault. We are not blaming them. It's pure ignorance. Ignorance of spiritual warfare. Ignorance of the meaning of the word die. Why you say something is dead? It doesn't mean that the thing has stopped breathing. It just means that as far as you are concerned, that thing does not bother your life anymore. That's what it means. God told Adam, say, on the day you eat this food, you shall die. Adam ate it. And he still remained alive for over 900 years. So the death God was talking about is not physical death. When we say that, a lot of people say, they are killing people. No, we don't kill people. The mountain of fire does not pray against human beings. To, to pray against a human being is witchcraft. It's the power they are using to trouble people we are praying against. But if a power now decides that over his or her dead body will you prosper. Well, whatever God wants to do with them, he can deal with them. God too is a killer. He has killed so many people in the Bible. If God says that the best is to kill, he will kill. He killed Goliath. He killed Herod. He killed so many people in the Bible. Once they are disturbing his people. That's why I know that any part that is disturbing your destiny shall be massively disgraced. In the name of Jesus. Some people don't understand us when we pray our prayers. You see, there are different kinds of churches. The church of God is a military force. The Lord our God is a man of war. God himself is not a civilian. He's a warrior. So if God is a warrior and not a civilian and you call yourself a child of God, you too must be a warrior, a soldier. The demons too agree that they are soldiers. Jesus commanded some demons to go. When they didn't live on time, he said, what's your name? He said, we are legion. Legion is a military terminology. So the demons accept that they are soldiers. The Lord himself is a man of war, he's a soldier. The church of God is a military force. But you see, in the military, there are different departments. There are some soldiers. All they do is to treat the sick. There are some soldiers who are dentists. They check the teeth of soldiers. There are some soldiers who just drive. There are some soldiers they just play trumpets and music instruments when the soldiers are marching. There are some soldiers... All they do is carry madam's bag to the market. They are soldiers. But when there is a war, there is some kind of soldiers they take to the war front. They call them combatant soldiers. That's where mountain of fire belongs. That's why some people don't understand what we're talking about. Amongst my people, there are wicked men. They lay weight. That is the, watch you carefully. 
then they will set their trap then it will catch then they catch men many women are in their cages many men are in their cages and a lot of destruction is even taking place a cage confines a person it traps a person as a rule a cage is fashioned according to the size of the animal you want to trap cages are built according to the strength of the animal that is intended for there is the spirit of the black man that construct cages to catch their fellow men they draw a spiritual circle around the person around the business and once the person is caged the person is severely limited a caged person will see something but will not receive a caged person will never reach his fullest potential a caged person is lost to reality a caged person is a loser in the garden of life for among my people are found wicked men they play with they set snares they set a trap they catch men they catch men not birds not rats not rabbits not insects they catch men many of the men who will come and go uh, go about and and they leave, leave their marriage because of strange women they've been caged they've been caged and sometimes when you see their wives their wives are even more beautiful than the people they're running about after but they, they're caged i'm praying for somebody here any cage that is holding your destiny shall break today it shall break 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 in the name of jesus to worsen our situation what i'm telling you i'm very sad it's very sad i'm sad to worsen the situation some people in africa who call themselves prophets men of god they are, they have now made it compounded I've seen a lady who said a prophet put incision on uh, on underneath a tummy. Where is it in the Bible that prophets should be putting incision on the tummy of women? There are people who, who take people to cemetery for prayer. There are now plenty of people selling anointing oil. These people are just making the work of witches and wizards easier. Those who should be encouraged to be strong in the Lord and fight the battle of life, they hand the battle over to a prophet who will just sleep and is not praying, is not doing anything, is just deceiving you. The prophet will say, go and, bring, go and bring two fat cocks. Then they will take the cock, slaughter the cock, prepare better soup with it, then they will remove the feather. They will roast the feather. Then they will ask the person who brought the cock to be swallowing the feather. It's wickedness. Wickedness. I'm praying for somebody here. And everything that you have lost to wicked men, you shall repossess them today. Your amen is not loud enough. Let your amen roar like thunder. A woman was confessing to something here. Confessing to something. That she hoped that God will forgive her. We said God will forgive you. She buys meat in the market. Put the meat by close to her vagina and she will sleep with that meat on her vagina for seven days so she'll put it in the vagina for seven days every time she wanted to see she'll put it there then the next day the eighth day she now cooks stew with the meat to give to another woman's husband to eat and immediately the man eats that soup anything his wife is saying at home is absolute rubbish the man that eating vagina meat and is now confused wickedness of the highest order i'm praying that today everyone who has entered into a trap or into any cage shall be set free by the power of god in the name of jesus we have prayers to pray and if we want to continue to operate as blacks any church you are going to that does not teach you about spiritual warfare as a black man is a waste of time a waste of money even if they make you see no dickiness they just they just want to dicken your life i want you to understand this very well some of you might have heard me sharing the story of mommy jo- mommy johnson mommy johnson was made the head of ladies guild in their church the head of ladies guild and during their ceremony they would put money in the plate they would dance to the front they would pray for them when during their society celebration so that day mommy johnson was the child lady so she's supposed to carry the plate 
they made Mommy Johnson chair lady of that group, not because she can pray, but because she's the one who used to wear the best British hat and British skirt suit. Mommy Johnson did not know that she was in a strange society. Until that day, she was carrying the plate forward, and the group members began to sing, Mommy Johnson, it is your time to fly. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time. Uh-uh. Say, so fly to where? <laughs> yeah. don't, so you don't know us here? We are all the same. So, I'm not the same with you. So, uh, you, are already, you, are, you are already initiated. You can't initiate me in Jesus' name. Remember the rice you ate last week? So you are already part of us. That's how they initiated this woman. That's what drove her to the mountain of fire. The chair lady of the ladies' guild society. So there is an infiltration of caging powers all over. You say, how do I deal with this? The first thing is to surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. The second thing is to realize that there is a problem. Because any clever doctor will first of all do diagnosis. You know, there is a problem here. You know that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Something seems to be limiting me. Something is stealing from me. Then we realize that there is a problem. Then three, wage war against the cage and set yourself free. Then four, barricade your life so that they don't encage you anymore. They don't trap you anymore. This is a very serious matter. And I want you to understand this very, very well. That when the book of Matthew said, as from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Violent have to take it by force. To get out of a spiritual cage and pushing those who push into the cage and lock them up there is violence. There's no easy way out. It's violence. Makes me to remember my friend who spent two years in America. A preacher. And he came to Nigeria and began to minister. My friend only spent two years in America. Now, landing in Nigeria, he started. You gotta place, place the land. You gotta know that you gotta place the land. And I want you to understand me that God is going to bless you. He's going to bless you. He's going to bless you. And when He blesses you, and you go going to move right. When He blesses you, and He was talking our kind of English before. Now He has changed. We are speaking American English to a black demon. <laughs> hey. Hey. He was invited to a church to minister, a sort of cathedral church. So he started to minister, speaking the American grammar as usual. All of a sudden, he had the voice of the Holy Spirit. So, Son, ask all those who are in this service with juju under their clothes to bring it out and throw it to you at the front. Say, ah, no, cathedral. Sunday service. Say, son, you better do so. So say, okay. If you got juju in your pocket, bring it out. Throw at me at the front here. To his amazement, the things began to fly. When they started throwing the thing, the bishop ran away. The bishop who invited him. From that day, my friend stopped speaking American English. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. There are prayers we need to pray here today. Prayers without any apology. But if you are afraid, don't pray them. Anything can happen. The spiritual world is an interesting place. Anything can happen. So it's no time to joke. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here today, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. I want to help you. Because I want you to escape from every cage. Wherever you are. Why all eyes are closed. Just raise up your right hand. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. You want to do so this afternoon. Just raise up your right hand. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you raising your right hand, just find a way quickly to me at the altar here. I want to pray with you. Before we go into any more prayers here today, find a way quickly to the altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here. There is no point in coming here and going home the same. Just leave that seat and come out very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you.
Those of you at the front, I congratulate you. Let's bow down your heads. And so what I'm going to say after that. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open your eyes, look at me. Please, immediately we close. Now, don't run back home. Let's come and talk to our pastor say, before you go. God bless you. You may go back to your seat. Go back to your seat now. I want you to sing this song before we start these prayers. This song should be sung with fire and with power. Make sure that nobody's voice is higher than yours. As you sing this song. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Ready to deliver. Ready to save. Ready to deliver. Ready to set me free. Holy Ghost arise. Oh, hey. Sing it loud. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost Holy Ghost arise, oh, in your power. Holy Ghost arise, oh, Holy Ghost arise, oh, in your power. Now, with thunder in your voice, with a voice that does not negotiate, you will cry against the wicked cages. It may be caging your business, may be caging your children, may be caging your finances. This is the time to break that cage open. It may be caging your health. Shout this loud and clear. Cages of darkness. I sign against my life. Break. In the name of Jesus. The cages must be broken to pieces. Thank you, Jesus. Aha! Aha! Break it! Break it! In Jesus' name we pray. Ancestral cages. Pray! In the name of Jesus. Jesus, move, 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 move. Aha, anyone in any cage now? I command the cage to break. Break, 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 break. Today is today. This is not a day to negotiate. Break the cages. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every cage of my father's heart. Down. In the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. 
receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In the name of Jesus, receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening here today. That's right. That's right. That's right. The witchcraft cages have been broken to pieces. Aha. Aha, be released, be released. That's the power of God coming upon you. Aha, thank you, Jesus. The power that destroyed the wall of Jericho. Allah, pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. The power that destroyed the wall of Jericho. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus name we pray as a woman here you came because you want to pray for your husband I have an information for you from heaven that the Lord whom you have come here to call upon will visit your husband if you brought water, oil, handkerchief here bring it out now oil, water, handkerchief, anything you brought here just bring it out now Father, we thank you for this instrument. Let your power fall upon it. Use them as instrument of breakthrough. Instrument of healing. Instrument of deliverance. Instrument of power. And all those who are here with prayer requests, Father, answer their prayer by fire. Those who are standing in gap using pictures, Father, answer them by fire. In the name of Jesus. Ase kapota li karibo sempela bayaba. Ribo sepia li katendaka. Oh God, arise and fight for your people in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and fight for your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put those oil, the water materials away. Stretch your right hand towards me at this altar. Stretch your right hand towards me. Father, as many hands as are stretched forward here, let the power for wealth creation, power for deliverance, power for healing, power for breakthrough. Fall upon the hands in the name of Jesus. By the anointing upon your hands, you shall prosper. By that anointing, every yoke standing against you shall be broken. You and receive the fire of God. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. By the anointing upon the hand, let every cobweb spirit. Destroy in the name of Jesus. Now lay that hand on your head. Lay your hand on your head. Put your hand on your head. And keep it there for now. The hand of God. 
will be laid upon your own hands so that the electric current of the Holy Ghost will flow through your body and instantly yokes shall be broken keep the arm on the head keep it there I'm going to count seven and the count of seven any spirit that is making anybody to fail at the edge of breakthrough will jump out at the count of seven every spirit of stubborn infirmity shall jump out at the count of seven every spirit bringing impossibility into anybody's life shall jump out one two three four five six seven Let's hear the grace in fellowship. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever.